Honestly, like, you just never have enough rod and reels. So, I got three on the deck today, and it's going to be a Texas rig. I'm going to switch over from my frog. I'm going to put a spook on to fish just the, the uh, end of the river here. Maybe throw the frog back on when we get out into the bays where it gets a little bit weedier because I really don't think a frog is going to... I mean, I probably could pull him on a frog, but I don't think that's going to be the play here. We got this. Really need new rod covers. The, real, the rods are poking through them. So, and then um, I'm probably going to take the chatterbait off and uh, just tie a spinnerbait on there, honestly. Uh, I might kick the chatterbait for a while though, just to see, see what's going on with it. All right guys, welcome to the show. So, finally after it feels like three hours, we're finally fishing, man. Um, yeah, we got a little bit of a late start because it was, uh, it was pretty stormy this morning and I just wanted to sleep in because I was up fairly late. So uh, we got out here. I had to idle down three quarters of the river here to make for like a 25 minute ride just because it was it's so shallow, um, super, super shallow. So we had to do that, but nevertheless, we're fishing and I have really high hopes. I uh, I'm super excited to be fishing. I really am. So let's see if we can't make it happen. That's our first fish, boys. That little guy. I'll take him though, because I got the skunk out of the boat. We've been fishing for, oh my gosh, I don't know, over an hour now easily. And uh, <laughs> that was our first fish. I don't know what's, uh, I don't know what's going on. There's not a ton of fish here. They're not wanting to bite or I'm using the wrong lure. I don't know, but very thankful for that fish. Because at least I didn't get skunk now, but. I can't seem to, can't seem to figure it out. So we came up in this bay and it's full of lily pads and I just saw one boil. I don't know what it was. It could have been a could have been a bull tail catfish, but it might have been a bass. Um, I haven't caught in anything but the one on the spinner bait yet, unfortunately. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to uh, use my, my power pole. I'm just gonna kinda use it as a push pole and I'm gonna push along because I think right now we're sitting in like a foot, foot and a half of water and I think that my trolling motor is really scaring them. So um, for the rest of the bay, I'm just going to use my, my power pole and just kind of push along anchor, push along anchor, and we'll see what we can't, we can't get, if we can get any. So, stay tuned. Dude, he didn't even feel my hooks. There he is. I got him. There he is. Come on. Get out of the weeds, dude. Get out of the weeds. This is a big one. Big fish. Let's go. Come on. Get out of those weeds. That's him, dude. Oh, it's a 
Good fish. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, it's a donkey, dude. Let's go. Yes, dude. It's not okay. I might have overreacted a little bit, but after you've gone an hour and a half without catching a fish, oops. If you've gone an hour without hour and a half without catching a fish, you'll take something like that. Let's go, dude. He's already been hooked. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome, dude. That is exactly what I needed. He got stung though, so he probably is not gonna hit again. You got him flipping in the uh, in the grass right in front of me. Thank you, sir. Well, the guy's got 30 pounds of lettuce on him, but we'll take it. Hopefully the camera was on.
go. Another decent fish. This one's got something up with his eye. He's blind in one eye. That's on the that's on the we're on the right track now, man. That was awesome. Very, very cool bite. Now we're making a video. Dude, stay out of the weeds. This is a good fish. Come on, bro. Stay out. I know what you're doing. Please don't do it. This is a good fish. You're almost there. Ah. Stay down. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. That's what we want. And that's how we want them to eat it. <sighs> Let's go, baby. There we go. Goes three, four, three, four, three. Nice. Yeah, it's been a day, man. It's, it's hot out, really, really hot out today. Um, ton of boat traffic, I didn't see anybody in here. Pretty cool little spot to have all to myself. So, um, Chelsea's gonna bring us some food though because we're pretty hungry. So stay tuned and let's continue to crank them. This is a, this is a monster fish. I'm gonna bring him up to the boat. Okay. Yep. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm gonna bring him up to the boat, and you're gonna get his head in the net. Okay. Okay. Oh 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 my god. Oh. Oh. My god. oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> what is it like a cat? Fish? It's a cat. Ten pounds. 33 ounces. Whew. Let's go, baby. God dang it. That fish was fighting. All right, guys. So we're going to finish the episode on this clip. Per usual, I forgot to film the outro. So I'm just going to do a voiceover audio for this. Um, I think I ended this day with between 15 and 20 bass. The conditions are pretty hard. The wind was blowing steady at 20 all day long. Um, scattered thunderstorms passing through and pretty humid conditions. So uh, we ended up having a fairly good day this day. Um, as always, thanks for tuning in, thanks for the views, thanks for the likes, thanks for the subscriptions, just keep them coming and I really enjoy the support on the channel and as always, like, subscribe, go fishing. We'll catch you on the next one.